This video is sponsored by the Bronze Series 7 and their 360 Flex technology. This is the best electric shave I've ever had, so let's go do that really quickly before we move on. This is getting a little messy. This 360 Flex technology is a game changer, and if you use code 360 Flex at checkout, you can actually get 10% off this bad boy if you decide to purchase it. I've got a bunch of scars on my chin from hockey and regular razor snag. This electric shaver though, never snags, never cut, it was incredible. There are different attachments depending on what you're looking for. Are you looking for a clean shave like me or maybe just a trim? Bronze Series 7 has that. And this charging and cleaning system is awesome. I throw it in, I get a clean, I charge that battery and it's all in one complete package. So click the link down below and get your Bronze Series 7. But make sure to use code 360FLEX for a discount. Thank you so much, Braun, for sponsoring this video, and let's get back into the content. I need a hunter like you with the red jack. Two for one. Hey everyone, Entash here, and today I'm talking about Redrix's broadsword. Now I know, I know, people have already covered it. I know, it got a buff, it's really good, we know Michael. I want to talk about this thing because my god this is the most fun I've had using a weapon in a long time. I find that destiny gets very stale from time to time and because of the way this plays out I've had more laughing fun moments with this thing than I've had with a weapon in a long time. Honestly the last time I just laughed because of how silly it was was the recluse. The recluse had such a crazy time to kill, you could kind of just dive into people and beat them in a 1v1 engagement even when you're weak. Because this thing can get a like 0 0.47 time to kill, it beats pretty much every weapon in the game when you're charged up. And if you can catch people off guard, you can get some crazy kill streaks that feel super satisfying. Okay, I don't need to explain this to everyone, but I want to make sure people realize how damn valuable this is. This is a high impact pulse, 340 RPM. Last season they were buffed, so instead of taking six headshots to kill someone, it's only five headshots and a body, meaning they are much more consistent and even the base value broadsword is good. But once you proc the outlaw and you reload, you then get around eight seconds of Desperado. Eight seconds of making this thing the Fastest killing weapon in the game, pretty much. Let me take a peek. Instead of being 340 RPM, you are essentially going to the fastest pulse rifle archetype. You still only require five headshots and a body, meaning you can tear through people and kill them in like 0.47 seconds. And you can absolutely annihilate people in their supers if you catch them off guard. Because it's a pulse rifle and you've got some decent range, if you see some idiot Dawn Blade flying through the air, they're dead. They're super dead. Okay, so reload speed on this thing isn't the best. ADS speed, not the best. This thing is a little clunky. Now, if you have a random rolled one with some better handling, that might change things because the broadsword that I have is from the quest. Unfortunately, it's not possible to get this thing with the random rolls right now but you might have one that has much better handling. Maybe instead of the stability mod, you have the handling mod, and this isn't as big of a deal. Getting range is going to be really good and stability, but the biggest thing, honestly, is the mods that you have equipped. The artifact has the enhanced pulse loader, which is one cost. It's a no-brainer. It can go on ele uh, any element of gun. Jesus, I can't even speak. Uh, but it also has the enhanced scatter projectile targeting, which is good because that helps with your ADS speed. Now, if you have an arc helmet, you can also throw on the um, enhanced pulse rifle targeting right down here. 
Uh, and that's going to be good for the ADS speed and target acquisition, but the one cost one works very well. It's a very good boost to your stats. And if you throw this on as well as the reloading perk, boys, this thing feels incredible. You're not going to worry about it. You're not going to miss it. It's not going to feel super clunky uh, the way it used to. This goes a long way. Now, the other thing you can do is pair it with exotics like the Dragon Shadow, which makes it super snappy. So this is with two of the scatter projectiles. It's nice and quick, not too bad. And the reload looking pretty good. Now, if we do the dodge, this thing is super snappy. The reload is incredibly fast and swap speed is incredible. But there's also a great exotic on the Warlock that I wanted to show off. Now, the Ophidian aspect is already super good with just this melee range extension. They buffed this a while ago, so if you're playing on your Warlock, that alone is really valuable. But the ready speed and the reload speed is super good too, especially if you're pairing it with things like the uh, pulse loader and the targeting. So if you look at this thing, it's like you have quick draw pretty well on both weapons. The ADS speed is really good, and the reloading is incredible. So if you're on a Warlock, this is a great choice for you. Um, you know, getting that reload off quickly when you've got Outlaw is pretty much instant. I'll show you really quickly. Um, and, and, you know, you kind of need that, because if you're trying to outplay people with this damage, you have to get that reload off as fast as you can. That one is, like, almost instant, and you can lay into that next target with the biggest timer, the deadliest timer humanly possible. So let's go play a game with this thing. Right, good map. I think there's some good lanes for this. Uh, I think this is going to be a good showcase because you're not going to win every duel. Uh, without the thing perked or, or procced, it doesn't feel, like, godly. But when it is procced, uh, you... You can play like an idiot and still win. Now, every time you reload with that outlaw, you're going to get eight seconds on Desperado. So you have quite a bit of time to find that next target. And it can be jarring when you lose it. But eight seconds is quite a bit of time. And you're going to notice the opportunity to use this a little bit more in 6v6. I got shit on there because he had an overshield. But you can see how fast this thing fires. It's nutty. Now, I got to get used to this a little bit. I've been using a hand cannon all day. But I'm really, really enjoying Redrix. I think this is my favorite weapon right now in the game. Uh, I like the Cold Heart. Okay! A little disrespect! Really? I think that the Cold Heart is really consistent. And, you know, sometimes this, this feels... It, it, it feels a little clunky compared to even the Cold Heart. But... Oh, I'm... I, I'm sorry, did you... Were you trying to, um... Oh, oh, are you- I, I'm sorry! Are you trying to fight me? It seems like you're struggling! Oh my god. I killed that guy. I don't know if you noticed. I just body shot the hell out of him and killed him. I don't think that this thing is OP because you have to win your initial duel, right? Like, you have to win your initial duel. But, like, even hip firing. Like, I- <laughs> Boys! It's nutty! I would call this a win more weapon. So it's like, good. Okay. It's good. But then it, it it just gets even better. Is this thing gonna ruin the Crucible? I don't think so. But when you can do this to people, and uh, this to people, okay, maybe not that to people. No HP, can I duel this? The answer is yes. And I've got Desperado again. So you can actually kind of delay things too with the uh, with Outlaw if you want, but I didn't like go crazy there. You know, there's some plays where I did really good, but it's not this overwhelming OP weapon. It's just super fun. Can it be the best weapon in the game? Yes. Can it feel average at other times when someone has got a, a gnawing hunger? There are going to be moments where you feel like it's not busted, but then there's going to be moments where you pop off and you feel like you can't be touched. And I think that's part of the reason why it's fun. It's like a dynamic, changing weapon, and I really appreciate it. It actually is is keeping me a little bit sane and, and having fun in the Crucible while things are slow and while the update is delayed. So, the quest for this thing, if you don't have it, is quite grueling. It's like 75 games 
split between comp, rumble, and control. It also requires a bunch of daily bounties, like 20 of them, so it's going to take multiple days there. Uh, but I recommend going and getting this thing. It's really fun, it's really good, and with the changes to the pulse rifles, the base model, the base, uh, the base gun is much better than it used to be, but then the powered up Desperado, oh, it's a good! Thank you so much for watching the video. Click the link down below and, and make sure to get yourself a Brawn Razor. Use code 360FLEX at checkout for a discount. I'll see you soon, my friends. Bye-bye.